There we are. Oh, that is fantastic. We're not the only ones sitting observing things at the water because of a peaceful Saturday afternoon. Well, it behoves the baboons to do exactly what you and I would do. Have your tea or your tipple of choice and overlook a peaceful waterhole. Now that is what that baboon is doing. You can see he could not be more peaceful if he tried. Sitting very nicely there. Where are the rest of his friends, Connor? Can you not, can you not see the rest of his friends? They're probably in the trees. There's one there behind him. Perhaps they've had a bit of a lover's tiff that looks like a male uh, furthest away and then a female looking over the dam. The rest of them, I suspect, will be feeding inside the drainage line there. That's very well found, Connor. Excellent job. Oh, there's one down there. Just feeding on the banks. Possibly had a little bit of a drink would certainly grab something like a baby white-faced duck if it could get it, but I think they've moved on from here. I don't think that they would eat a terrapin. I think they have rather too much taste for that. They'd probably eat the flowers like the ones I've just showed you, the flannel weeds. And there's another one sitting sort of right up into that knobthorn tree, which is a very, very thorny tree. Now oh, this is fantastic. And we were just saying before the drive started how it felt like a sort of lazy, relaxed Saturday afternoon. And certainly for the baboons that would seem to be the case. I mean, they don't look like they've got a care in the world. Which I suppose they don't. They don't worry about um, the same things that we do. Just where do I get enough to eat? And after that, how dominant am I in the troop? And therefore, how often am I going to be able to mate? This is fantastic. Connor, I don't suppose... Ooh, I just coming up out the other side, it looked like there was a mother and her baby, but I don't think so. Let's follow these two. Let's do exactly this. And we just wait for the camera to adjust its exposure. No, not going to happen this time round, so we'll just stick with the one in the sun. Now, Connor is flying at roughly, I'm going to say, about 15 meters above the ground, so at about 50 feet, 45 feet. And those baboons are not reacting in the slightest, so he's below the tree line. And all they will hear is a sort of swarm of bees flying above them, which they obviously are not worrying about at all. And they're just foraging quietly through the sort of drainage line and they'll be looking for insects they'll try and find the odd flower they'll pick up caterpillars the, the odd beetle if they can find it and then if they're really lucky they'll turn over a rock and pick up a scorpion or maybe even have the boon of a little bird's nest if they're lucky I think that's just fantastic and Connor's just gaining a little bit of height as one of them looks up that's gorgeous stuff. All righty, we're going to go off to a small break, but before we do that, let's have a quick look back at Ronald if we can, because there is